to each and every one of you. Uh, once again, this is Dr. John David. And as we are ending the year, all right, I believe that you have had a fantastic, fantastic 2021. And as we are ending the year, I thought that this will be a fantastic a gift. It can be a Christmas gift. It can even be a New Year gift as we enter into 2022. Now, I want to quickly cover uh, some of the important sin strategy uh, challenges okay, that most of the sin strategy users are facing, especially the floating losses incurred during the volatile market. Now, I think this is going to be a, a fantastic uh, recommendation that could definitely help many of you who are basically following or sing with JD Winner and JD Tenex. Now, please understand, all right, there are no circle or there are no strategy that can, that can promise you zero floating loss, all right? Every strategy, there will be floating losses because the market is volatile and we are trading in the real market. Now, please understand, because we are trading in the real market, there will be floating losses, but floating losses does not, okay, does not represent real, realized losses unless you close those trades manually because you could no longer wait, all right? Now, in this situation, okay, I would advise you, please wait patiently because crypto market always goes up and down crypto market always gives surprises and those who wait will be able to reap a much greater profit so it waiting is just simply hodling all right hodl hold on dear life you just have to hodl it all right this is basically what happened in the crypto market and this is normal so if you are new to the crypto market welcome to the real world because this is what it meant by the volatile market now please understand Okay, in our team, we have two strategies or two circles over here. One is JD Winner and we have JD 10X. Now, JD Winner is designed for the bullish market. All right, please understand that. So if, if, if you sink when the market is at the bottom, you are definitely going to see a, a, a better result with JD Winner because it is designed for the bullish market and the margin call for the bearish, okay, which is only 13th margin call. Now, why is it so? Because it is catered for the small capital with a minimum of 155 just one coin, all right? And that is the reason why. So you must understand because of the small capital, the, the margin call is much, much smaller. And in that case, you can even experience floating losses and you can be waiting for weeks or even for months because of the uncertainty of the market. So please understand that. Now, if you want to have a much better, wider, okay, wider margin call, then I would encourage you to go for JD10X. And JD10X is designed both for the bullish market because we have the synchronized double on and we have the bearish market whereby you have up to 60 over percent. So if the market bearish, if the market drops all the way down to 50% or 40% or up to 60%, you are still able, the board will still able to replenish and you will be able to still enjoy consistent profit, all right? So those of you who have more than $2,000, you may actually opt for JD10X because JD10X minimum is five coins all right, and you need at least about 1850 for those coins. And please don't forget of the maker and taker fees. Okay, if you are using USDT in your Binance, or if you are using uh, Huobi tokens, okay, uh, or, or you are using U USDT in, the, in Huobi, please make sure you have allocated the fees, all right, for those exchanges too, all right? So please take note. Now, I would like to quickly share with you Three important techniques, okay? Three techniques uh, of sin strategy users can actually immediately adopt to manage the volatile market. So if you are new, you have not seen, I would, I would encourage you to go through these three techniques, okay? And if you have already seen, probably you may consider to cancel the sin and start to adopt this strategy uh, if, you, if you're really able to do so or else you have to wait until the market rebound and once the coins are all closed in profit then you can adopt these techniques now let's quickly go into the technique 
Now, the first thing, right? The first thing you need to understand is the volatility. What does that really mean? Now, volatility refers as periods of unpredictable and sometimes sharp price movement. Okay, that is what it all mean. So you can see that within this month, we are experiencing unpredictable, volatile condition of the market or uncertainties. The market is currently basically, okay, it is not bearish. I will say it is still bullish, all right? But the thing is that it is volatile. Now, please understand if you are trading, you love volatility and we need volatility. For example, I'm trading live. I need, as a trader, I need the market to be volatile in order to actually generate profit. But on the other hand, if you are seen strategy, it is completely different because you are not trading. You are only doing seen strategy and you are dependent on the seen strategy. And therefore, please understand, you need to have sufficient capital in order, all right, in order to, to encounter the bearish market whereby there will be auto replenishment taking place or we refer that as an averaging. So that is the reason why you need to have sufficient capital. Alright, so please understand that sometimes the unpredictable condition or the sharp price movement also happen during the bullish market. So please take note, bullish doesn't seem doesn't mean that it is actually an uptrend market. Sometimes it can be a fake a fake breakout or fake upward movements and so on. Okay, so please understand that. So this is what it refer as volatility. So when the market is volatile, if you are if you are part of the quantitative trading, then please take note that you will be experiencing floating losses. Now the floating losses here referred as an unrealized losses. It is not a real losses unless you actually sell those coins manually. All right. So when you're going to the floating losses, one of the most important, all right, important, important uh, element here is patient. So you need extreme patience to wait for the market to rebound. Now let me just quickly share with you three, okay, three techniques that you can actually adopt if you are going to do sin strategy, and this can be really, really helpful, especially during the volatile market. Now the first thing is that is what I refer as a wallet management. Now, please understand, right, that you, none of us are able to control the market. None of us can even predict the movement of the market. But there's one thing that each and every one of us can control, which is, which is our own wallet management. So you can control your own fund in your own spot wallet, right? So that is the beauty aspects of the quantitative trading. So please understand that. So since you are able to control the wallet management, this is just a recommendation for you that you can actually adopt. So what you can do is that initial sync only with 50% of your trading fund. Example, if your capital is 1550, right? If you if this is an example for JD Winner, for example, you could actually sync 10 coin. But because the market is volatile, you can what I would advise is that you could probably consider to only sink 50%, which is five NOC, NOC number of coins initially. Can you see that? So you don't have to go all in with 100% or 10 coins, but you can actually start with five coins first. Now, when the first five coins hits the max margin call threshold, of 13 for JD winner, okay? For JD 10X, we have 30 margin call and declines further during the bearish market, okay? So let's say, for example, if you are in JD winner, you know that the threshold of the margin call is going to be 13. Now, when it start to hit 13 and below, all right, what you can do now is that you can now sing the remaining 50% or the five coin that you have not seen yet. Can you see that? Now, isn't that brilliant? Now, this is a brilliant way. I would say this is the smartest way anyone can manage the volatile market. So you can't control the market, but you can manage your own wallet. You can actually manage the number of coins that you want to sing. Can you see that? I think that is a brilliant, brilliant strategy anyone can adopt if you are basically into the sync strategy all right so the timing of the sync is at the discretion of the users so you can decide if you ask me once it hit 13 and below you can then activate the remaining five coins okay so this is brilliant right now let's just move on now in this manner right while you are waiting for the first initial coin to rebound 
users will be able to start to generate profit with the newly sync five coins. Now, please understand in saying that I have put a disclaimer here because this does not guarantee that market won't decline further. Please take note of that, all right? Now, even if the market decline, at least, all right, at least the market will rebound much faster for the for the five coins that you have actually sync later on and thereafter another five coins. Can you see that? So in this manner, right, you will be starting to generate profit even much faster because you have two sets of five coins and five coins that you have actually seen, all right? Now, this is, I will say, a brilliant way how you can manage your wallet, how you can segregate the number of coins in accordance to your own wallet management. So this is up to you. Now, above technique may not be applicable for users with smaller capital or number of coins. Okay, please take note because probably if you have 10 coins, you can do 5-5. Five, five. But those who have one or two coins, okay, if you are doing 1-1, one, one, it doesn't make sense, right? Or if you have just one coin, you may not be able to do much, okay? So you need to have sufficient number, okay? Might be, for example, you have six coins. So you can do three coins first and later on you do another three coins, okay? Now, so this is just the first recommendation and I hope this recommendation help you now, okay? To, to give you some insight, to give you some knowledge what you can do, okay? Because these are things that you can control. So wallet management is one of the aspects that you can actually have control, but you are not able to control the market. Please take note of that, okay? So first is wallet management. Now let's move on to the second. Now the second thing that you can do is to exit all position once market reaches certain all-time high, okay? And then you may resync again once the market at bottom. Now, this is a, another fantastic, brilliant strategy, all right? So what you can do is that you can actually wait for the market to go all-time high or the market starts to become bullish, all right? So users, okay, SING users may exercise to cancel SING and switch all the coins to one shot at certain market all-time high or bullish. Thereafter, you wait for the market to decline or bottom and then racing once again. Can you see that? Now, this is another brilliant way. Can you just imagine that, that anyone can do this? So all that you need to understand is when the market is bullish, all right, you wait. For example, if Bitcoin price goes to about 65,000 or 70,000, you may want to put all the coin, in, you may want to cancel the sink and put all the coin to one shot so that the board will start to close all the coins in profit and return back your profit and capital back into your spot wallet. And then after, from 60,000 or 70,000, if Bitcoin price corrected by 30% or 40%, you just have to wait. So during that period of waiting, you can actually enjoy your time with your family. You can go for vacation. You can do whatever you want to do and wait until the market at bottom and then you go and racing once again. Can you see that? Now, these are, these are just discipline. These are just, you know, these are just some idea to allow you to understand what you can do because you have the power to actually cancel the sink at any time. All right. So I hope, I hope this is really, really helpful. Now, this process could be done repeatedly, 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 okay, at users' convenient and market volatility. So you can do it at any time. You can look into the market, you can study the market, and you may decide when you want to do it. There are no hard rules, okay? User may decide all-time high and all-time low level based on their own knowledge and market insight. Now, can you just imagine that you can actually combine, you can complement the first the first technique, which is the wallet management, and the second technique, which is to exit all position once market reaches certain all-time high. Can you see that? So once the market reaches certain all-time high, you can then do the same thing again. You can go 50% first, and thereafter, the remaining 50% if the market further comes down. Can you see that? Now, these are brilliant, okay? These are just brilliant concept, brilliant insight, all right, and, I, and you may study how to go about this. Okay, so please take note. Now, the last technique, which is my most favorite technique, and I, and I utilize this technique, okay, all the time in my trading. And that is the reason why some people ask me, how is it that you're able to generate more profit than the rest? Now, if this is just another way how you can do it, is that what, what I call this as a manual profit taking. 
Alright? So that simply means you are not going to sell anything at loss. Please take note. Okay, in JD Winner, in JD 10X, our admin, or even myself, we never encourage anyone, all right, to sell manually at loss. Even if we would give you idea or advices, we always tell you, do it at your own discretion, all right? But now here, right, you can see that even if you are seeing, do you know that you can actually manually take profit? So you don't have to wait for the bot to take profit automatically, all right now this is this is really really useful especially when the market is moving sideways when the market momentum has slowed down you can actually go go in there and take manual profit now let me let me just show to you what is the benefit of doing so now user may monitor their trades and decide to manually take profit at any time all right so i recommend okay look at the return rate so when the return rate is above 50 percent so in this example, I have a one inch, okay, pair with USDT over here. And you can see that the return rate is above 50%, around 60%. Okay, this is a positive, all right? This is a profit. Please take note of that because it is not minus, it is a profit, okay, 60%. And then the margin call is above four. So this is margin call is five, all right? So now, based on this rule, okay, when you see, Okay, when you see that your trades are already making profit above 50% and the margin call is above 4, what you can do? You can actually, right? You can actually go and take the profit manually instead of waiting for auto profit taking. Now, please understand, okay? When the market momentum slows and moving sideways, sometimes, okay, you will see that it will not, it will not able to hit the auto profit taking. So if the profit taking is 1.2% or 1.3%, but the market momentum is slow, how, how, how can the bot actually hit that auto profit taking? It won't be able to, right? But do you know that even if you are seeing, you can actually go and do a manual profit taking, all right? So now this is a brilliant, okay, a brilliant insight. And I believe, okay, every one of us can do this, okay? So if you are basically concerned about taking profit you can actually do this manually right now please understand all right when trades are closed manually all right this is where you manually sell only at profit take note of that bot will automatically replenish or execute new coins so users are not required to select the coins bot will pick the coins randomly as per specified by the sin strategy owner okay so now even if you take profit manually all right you don't have to worry once you have taken the profit manually the bot will then open up a new coins okay according to the sin strategy can you see that now isn't that brilliant okay so you can keep doing this okay you can keep doing this so whenever you have a free time okay you have an allowable time you can go in there into the bot and you can see that any bot that already making the profit above above 0 0.5 five percent and also when the margin call already go down below four you can actually go and take profit manually now what is the idea here why why are we doing this very simple now the whole idea is that okay the whole idea is that you just want to continuously replenish all right let me just explain to you how this whole thing works. you just want to continuously and consistently you can actually consistently exercise this technique right and you can actually uh, improve okay improve the profitability especially when the market is less intensified okay or the market momentum is actually moving sideways all right that's the whole idea the whole idea of what you are basically going to do here now so the whole idea is to keep replenishing the fund into the spot wallet for fresh trade to take place instead allowing the funds being locked in the trade for a long time can you see that now isn't this the real problem that most of the people are facing or most of the sing user are facing am i right that because because the bot even the bot already profiting but although the bot is profiting but the bot has not touched the auto profit taking but then what happened to your position amount your position amount are still been hold are still been hold in the trade so now, if you can take the profit manually, what happens now is that you're going to keep replenishing the fund into your spot wallet and the bot will now start to open fresh new trade with the initial first order. 
Alright, so if the first order is 10, just imagine, okay, just imagine if you have a trade and in that trade you have example, in this example, okay, you see that in this trade I have about $81. So my $81 is sitting here, right? So if I would close this trade at 60, at 0.6%, alright, profit, at 0.60% profit, what happens now? The board will now replenish and open a new coin at $10, right? So I have actually saved another $70. So my $70 will then return back into my spot wallet. And now, can you just imagine, you can now open the margin call for some of those trades where the margin call already automatically stopped. You can open those margin call because now you have access fund so that your board can continue to do the replenishment. All right? Now, these are the three brilliant, okay? The three brilliant or the three most, okay? Most uh, effective, effective ideas, or I will say recommendation or techniques that you can actually implement at any time, all right? So it is solely up to you. I'm just giving you some insight here so that this can be a true blessing to each and every one of you. So at least now you have some idea, you have some insight how to tackle the floating losses. And if you are new, you have not seen strategy, I would advise you to exercise the wallet management technique so that you won't go in at one shot, okay? You don't have to go in at one shot all out, but you can actually restrain yourself, only use 50% of your fund and, and, and maintain the remaining 50% so that you can use it later on to sink the remaining 50% when the market is actually bottom, all right? Now, these are brilliant way. I hope that you will be, you will enjoy, you know, the insight that has been shared in this in this presentation or in this um, video, all right, and, and make sure you implement it because I believe, okay, you will be able to realize a much improved, much greater profit. Now, if you are really, really blessed with the content that has been presented, all right, in this video, please, okay, please get to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel, don't forget to click the bell so that you get all the new notification of my latest video, and I think we're going to have more and more new contents coming up uh, next year, okay, so next year is going to be exciting because there are other aspects uh, of the trading that I'm going to share with the team, especially the crypto leverage, where you can actually learn to trade your own, okay, so if you have time, you can get into this video, crypto leverage trading we're going to do uh mentorship every single month next year so any one of you okay who wants to take advantage of the crypto leverage trading all right you can take advantage of it so apart apart from having the bot trading for you you can even use the profit from the bot and start to trade your own and start to generate much greater profit, okay? So these are fantastic complementary uh, skills that you can have. So one is the bot and the other one is your own trading. So if with your own trading, you can actually make money or generate profit in both the bullish and the bearish market, okay? So do, do like this, uh, do give a thumbs up, do like this, uh, you know, this uh, video that I've shared with you, don't forget to subscribe and we will catch up once again, all right, with our upcoming AMA that will be taking place in January 2020. I would like to say thank you so much to each and every one of you. I'm just truly grateful for this partnership, for every one of you who have, subs who have subscribed and who have supported this channel. Every single one of you who are who have partnered with us in JD Winner and JD 10X, it's just has been a brilliant, brilliant year. I trust that God will begin to bless each and every one of you. Have a fantastic, fantastic Christmas festive holidays and a fantastic new year as we enter into this fantastic 2022. God bless each and every one of you.